Hello, welcome to Maths with Jay. So far we've seen that we can find the area under a curve by integrating. So if we want to find the area between a curve and the x-axis, we integrate. So it's fairly straightforward to use that idea to find the area enclosed between two curves. The first thing we need to do here is to sketch the curves. Now we know that um, half x squared is a parabola, it's going to be a kind of a U shape, it's going to look something like that, it'll go through the, uh, the origin. So that's what that one will look like, y is a half x squared. And the other one well, was a negative before the x squared, so it's going to be an upside down parabola. And you notice I'm sketching the curve and then putting in the axes, makes it a bit easier. So like in the first one, we knew that our minimum point was at the origin, but this time, because we've got 3x minus x squared, we know it's going to cut the axes at 0 and 3. That's because when we factorise here, we've got x times 3 minus x. So when we put that equal to 0, either x is 0 or x is 3. But what we want to do is to have those two curves on one set of axes so that we can actually see more clearly the area that we're looking at. So the best thing to do first of all is to solve the two equations, see where the two curves meet and then do the, the sketch. So let's have a look at what we've got. A half x squared equals 3x minus x squared. So that will give us the two points where the curves meet. So let's add x squared to both sides. So that will give us 3 over 2x squared on the left hand side. And then we could, well let's divide through by the uh, 3 and subtract the x from both sides and multiply by 2. So we're doubling to get x squared is 2x. So x squared minus 2x is 0. So we can see that when we solve this quadratic that x is either equal to 0 or equal to 2. So we've got two points where the two curves meet, at x equals 0 and x equals 2. So that's going to help us sketch them both on the same set of axes. So let's do that. So there's y equals a half x squared. So let's now put in y equals 3x minus x squared. Remember we know that the two curves meet at the point where x is 2. So this one must go through 2 and in fact we know it goes through 3 on the axis and on 2. So it must look something like this. It's a bit wobbly but it's only a sketch to give us an idea of where the area is that we're trying to find. We want to find the area enclosed by the two curves so we can now clearly see that there is an area in this area here. So that's what we're trying to find, the area between those two. Let's just shrink that down to give ourselves some more space. So we've done the hard work now and in order to write down the area, well it's going to be the integral of, now the limits are the lowest value of x which is 0 and we can see the area goes up to values of x being 2 and we know that when we're finding the area under a curve, the integrand is the, the equation of the curve. But in this case, we want the area between two curves. So it's really the area under 3x minus x squared subtract the area under half x squared. Because whenever we're integrating in an individual function, we're finding the area between the function and the x-axis. Would it be nice if we label the x-axis over there, makes things a bit more easy to understand. So that means that when we're finding the area between two curves, we start off by writing down the equation of the first one, so that's 3x minus x squared, and then we subtract the y is a half x squared. So that is the hard work done. So now we just need to simplify our integrand. So we're going to have 3x staying the same and then subtracting half x squared from negative x squared gives us 3 over 2x squared. So integrating x we get x squared over 2 and integrating x squared gives us x cubed 
over 3 so we could take the half outside giving us 3x squared minus x cubed the threes cancel there and the limits are 2 and 0 so substituting in 2 gives us a half times 3 times 2 squared minus 2 cubed and then substituting in 0 well both terms will be 0 won't they so we've got 3 times 2 squared is 12 take away 2 cubed is 8 so that's 12 minus 8 4 divided by 2 is 2 so the area enclosed between the two curves is 2 square units